As a new player in Guild Wars 2, or even an experienced player simply leveling up a new character, inventory management is one of the first hurdles you must overcome. The natural solution to this problem is to acquire the best bags you can. The largest bags in the game are actually 32 slot bags, but for reasons I describe in another video, this guide will focus on 20 slot bags, which are much easier to obtain and should provide more than enough inventory space in most cases. Check out the video I made on the subject to learn why crafting 32 slot bags is a scam, and stick around until the end to learn how to get two 32 slot bags for free. Now, let's get started looking at how to easily obtain 20 slot bags. First of all, each new character you make starts out with a 20 slot starter backpack. This item is soulbound, however, meaning it can't be transferred between characters, so you can't collect bags simply by making new characters and transferring over all their backpacks. The easiest 20 slot to obtain is the Uncanny Jar. This one-time reward is granted after completing the Uncanny Canner Achievement Collection. For this collection, you mostly just need to buy jar-related items from certain heart vendors in Corteria. One item is sold by a vendor in Queensdale after a certain event is completed. After that, the Jar of Lost Souls and Twister in a Jar can be purchased from the Trading Post for relatively cheap. The wiki page guide for this collection is linked in the description. Next up, the Bandit Coin Purse is another one-time reward from an achievement collection, this time the Bandit Weapons Specialist achievement. To unlock this achievement, you first need to purchase a Bandit Combat Journal in the Silver Wastes for 150 Bandit Crests, meaning this collection is locked behind max level content. To complete it, you must unlock every Bandit Weapon skin. Most of these can be cheaply purchased for Karma in World vs. World from the Karma Trader near your spawn. The prices will be lower if you are on a lower level character, so you may want to complete this step on a new character. The remaining skins can be purchased on the Trading Post to get your bag. Continuing the trend of bags locked behind max level content, we move on to Living World Season 1. Completing the final story step of each episode of Living World 1 for the first time awards a 20 slot bag, meaning you can get a total of 5 bags this way just by completing the story. Note that these are also one time rewards. The previous rewards should fill all your bag slots, but if you still need 20 slot bags, the best options to purchase are either the Pillager's Packs from World vs. World or Fractal Equipment Boxes from Fractals. Pillager's Packs are super cheap and my personal go-to. Now that we've discussed 20 slot bags, there's actually one more thing to discuss before we move on to 32 slot bags, that being the Mail Carrier Satchel. This 24 slot bag is a promotional item sent to your account after you subscribe to the Guild Wars 2 newsletter, making it by far the easiest bag to obtain. Now, let's move on to 32 slot bags. This first achievement will require that you have the A Bug in the System episode of Living World 4. After completing the episode, you will receive a free 20 slot bag and unlock the Lasting Bonds collection. This series of three different collection achievements requires you to run around and complete various tasks in Sandswept Isles, but they can all be easily completed in about a day's time. Completing each step will upgrade your bag, with the final upgrade being the 32 slot Reinforced Olmakan Bandolier. The Lasting Bonds wiki guide is also linked in the description. Finally, the second free 32 slot bag is the Hero's Trusty Backpack. This reward is part of the Seasons of the Dragons meta achievement, which rewards you for completing various tasks relating to every Living World release. The bag is earned upon completing 16 of the Return to Meta Achievements, meaning you will need to have access to 16 Living World Zones to complete in order to obtain the bag. And that concludes this guide. If you found this helpful, please drop a like or consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what other topics you'd like me to discuss. Wow, that's quality armor. Burn.